Zeolite Supplement Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on a supplement called Zeolite. And Zeolite's kind of like a class of supplements, but the specific kind we're talking about, I think it's called Clinoptolite, something like that. I know I'm butchering it, but that's kind of like the most popular versions of Zeolite. Now, a lot of people kind of wanna inch into supplements, basically see how it works for them and then see if it's something they want or not. But Zeolite, the way that it works, it's actually meant to be taken a lot at once, especially when you first take it. Now, Zeolite, from my understanding it's I think it's like a volcanic type of ash or like a volcanic type of rock it is kind of like nature's way of like cleaning out heavy metals I think it does other things besides that but the main use that it has is basically like cleaning up heavy metals now from the research that I've done essentially like it's like a big circle cube or a big circle or something and it has like a magnet on the inside and it basically will look and seek out heavy metals and when it comes across the heavy metal it'll basically suck it up in this cage and the way that it is designed the cage kind of can't really get stuck in your body anywhere so you end up peeing it out it kind of will seek out heavy metals try to trap them and then release them from the body it almost seems too good to be true um, i know i was watching another podcast i'll try to link it down below where they have some amazing research on this stuff and I think at one point in history, uh, a lot of people were getting like a very famous disease and they kind of lined the bottom of their water and their aqueduct with this mineral and it helped clean the water, purify the water, and the main disease was kind of, you know, gone. And pretty interesting stuff. I don't know if that's true, but I did a whole review on uh, Suspended Solutions version, but I don't think I can really give it the full go because of how many grams you need. I think I was only taking maybe a gram, gram and a half at, at the most in a day. And I'm taking just so, so much because I ended up getting like a one pound tub on Amazon. And I'll kind of link it down below. I meant to bring it with me today, but I ended up forgetting it. One version version has very 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 small particles and the other uh, the other version has slightly bigger particles but they're both very very small so anyways guys that's that's pretty much the basic rundown what did I feel on this stuff when I first took this stuff I actually felt very very tired and I didn't do enough research on it again I had researched it before but I don't know what it was I didn't think I fully understood it so when I was first taking this it made me super tired I was actually taking it in the morning one time I took it in the morning before I went snowboarding and I just could not resurrect myself I was so so tired and out of it kind of looking back at it it seems like I was probably should have taken a, a large dose and especially when I was first taking it uh, I ended up started taking it at night just because in, in case it made me tired I wouldn't be going to sleep and I wouldn't really mind it as much but it would be if I took it in the morning and I felt tired in the day that would be something I didn't like it definitely seemed like detox symptoms and in the beginning of this video I was saying that um, zeolite is something that you want to kind of take a lot of in the beginning. Now, the reason that they say that is because let's say you have lots and lots of toxins in your body and you don't take enough zeolite. So it's basically, it might pick up one like toxic metal, then it finds another one, it attracts the other one, but it doesn't have room for both. So it basically leaves the original toxic thing and takes the more toxic thing. But now, you know, basically toxicity is moving throughout your body and it's not getting eliminated. So if you take enough zeolites, it will have enough for every heavy metal basically, or at least most of them, and it'll flush more of them out. So you don't have the possibility of it sucking it up and then leaving it stuck in your body. It, you know what I mean so that's kind of why you want to take a lot at the beginning and I kind of felt that way it took me about three or four days taking it maybe five and then I started to feel the effects you feel so so good on this stuff uh, my skin felt like a lot lighter a lot clearer uh, it just felt so, like way softer than normal I know I have them right now but usually I this is kind of like a bad problem I have is I get um, like bags under my eyes and apparently they say that's your kidneys and which in your kidneys filter your blood. Now, I think zeolite is supposed to actually clean your blood, which makes sense because it's gonna suck all these toxins out and eliminate them from the body. But I have noticed that the more I take it, I actually will have super, super clear under my eyes. So it seems like it's cleaning out my blood and very few supplements actually do that. But yeah, and I felt like the, legitimately like a weight was lifted off my shoulders like I felt like I had this kind of tension and something on my back that was released now again this was like four or five days afterwards but um, seeing how many uh, possibilities of heavy metals are in the air I mean it's just countless the amount of ways you could get a little bit in your body and like what if they build up what if there's some toxicity things like that like let's say that a mother lives around like a toxic area well she's gonna have that built up her whole life and then 
when uh, a mother is pregnant and she has a lot of toxicity in her body, the body will put that into the infant just to save the mother. So now the, it's like just the toxicity and the environment is just constantly passed on. You almost need something to go in there and start to remove all these things, you know what I mean? And like, I feel like every area has its own toxic thing, you know what I mean? I think even toxic mold is attracted to these bad metals and things too. So, so anyways, guys, I highly recommend this stuff. This was um, jumped to being one of my favorite supplements of all time. Um, it's one of the only ones that has like a metal cleaning effect. I know that's kind of weird to say, but there's a lot of antioxidants, a lot of things that help the body. But this is one thing where you actually feel like it's taking bad things out of your body. And I think zeolite is also like studied a little bit in the medical field. I think if you get chemotherapy, they'll also give it to you because it'll help um, eliminate some of those toxins from the body. And then the last thing I remember is that zeolite won't, like if you have toxins inside your muscles or inside your organs, like it won't go in there and get those. It'll only detoxify what's in the bloodstream right now. So you had a lot of toxins in your fats and the toxins actually are pushed away from your body. When you start to lose the weight, they'll start to be released in your bloodstream. So that would be a very good time to take zeolite as well. So anyways, guys, I highly recommend this stuff. I felt great on it. I felt like my skin was better. I felt like just the overall weight was taken off my body. It felt absolutely great. And I highly recommend that almost everybody take it, especially if you have some sort of disease. It could be influenced by having too many of these heavy metals. It's a possibility, who knows? So thank you guys so much for watching the video. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.